Hello everyone and welcome back to the wacky wild world of Wobble Dogs where we have a little juvenile courage doing their best to live up to the very big paws left behind by Cotton Ball. I am going to miss Cotton Ball so badly but I do not think that this is going to be the last we have seen of them even if we do still see you know tails and legs sprinkled all over the ground. We are actually going to see Cotton Ball as the new ghost dog that I hope to be able to go ahead and summon down here in just a second as soon as I manage to get myself down into this room oh my gosh all right courage let's go ahead and hatch Rosebush and all of the other dogs and we are going to be carrying on our goal of unlocking the dessert generator or the dessert like fridge I guess I should say by getting a wide dog somehow or another I think maybe wide stance will really help us so we're gonna work on that also, hopefully, fingers crossed, that random mutation will help us as well. Maybe some breeding will, too. Rosebush, you changed colors! What is this all about? Also, pardon the lag, guys. It's just because we have... Oh, it was a random mutation! It's just because Rosebush has, like, over 100 legs, so she goes a little bit wild sometimes. Wow. Okay. So let's see. The body width has unfortunately gone down by 20%. Rosebush, no! Just at a time where we needed to have the body width go way up. Oh my gosh. Well, curses. Rosebush, that makes my life a little bit harder. However, I appreciate you coming down here so that I can go ahead and we're going to very gently move over Cotton Ball, memorialize Cotton Ball, and then call forth the ghost of Cotton Ball. Dun, dun, dun. And now we have our ghost guard dog back. Yay! And they're gonna go ahead and eat all of this lunar pie for us. And apparently, there we go, turn it into ectoplasm. Hopefully Rosebush will, like Rosebush would be an expert tap dancer now that I think about it. But Rosebush will calm down. And look, Cotton Ball's plants that they planted. The orange lupine flowers are spreading all over the place. Thank you very much, Cotton Ball. If you also wanna go ahead and maybe, oh, you don't wanna do any digging? Okay, never mind. You don't need to dig. Rosebush, maybe you could do some digging for us. I mean, can you dig with all of those paws? I think it's more of a front paw activity. Okay, maybe Courage will be our little digger. Courage, are you going to be able to, like, hopefully do some digging? Because that would be really helpful. Do you want to? Yeah, you having a good time? All right, please don't destroy the flowers, but good job digging! We're going to try to train Courage to be a good digger because digging produces a lot of flowers lately. Not this time, unfortunately. However, I, I have hope. All right, we'll go ahead and clear that out of the way. Do you want to dig again, Courage? All right, I'm going to give you a little praise and then I need to actually get out of here, even though I want to have you maybe dig me up some treasures, capsules, bunch of flowers. Come on, Courage, you can do it. <gasps> yes! Purple lupine flowers! Oh my gosh, all right. That makes me very happy. That's these flowers, so we can plant more of them now. Uh, the plants and other things that you can find, like the den upgrades, for instance, uh, are, do show up more often when you dig now, so we're gonna be doing a lot of that for sure. All right, all of that said, it looks like Snacks is hungry. Also, Snacks, where are you? That is a very good question, Snacks. Snacks? Okay, I have no idea where Snacks is. Um, oh, there you are, Snacks. Snacks has also been doing some digging over here. Very good job, Snacks. Very good. Uh, here, if, you, if you're if you hungry, come have some of the pizza party. All right. And it's time to hatch some of the other dogs, like Green Bean, who I have a lot of my hopes really set on for... Yes, Green Bean, you're still big! Oh! <gasps> Look at your face! Oh my gosh, green bean has actually changed colors to actually look like a green bean! <laughs> I love it! The back leg girth has gone up, body length has gone down, snout length has gone down, rotation has significantly gone down. Oh my gosh, green bean, you actually look more like a green bean now. You're so adorable. Uh, and we're maybe a little bigger? So I think green bean is our best bet for actually becoming one of the dogs that can be large. Uh, however, Miss Lily is also a very large dog. So maybe Green Bean plus Miss Lily. Hi, Miss Lily. I'm glad you kept both your heads. 
since we learned you can actually lose heads last time. Okay. Miss Lily, you're so cute. The snout size has gone down on Miss Lily, you guys. So now she just kind of has like a pug face. It's really cute. Snout length has also gone down. Uh, and back leg girth has gone up. But we don't really have like the wide stance. So I don't know if big is really working. I think maybe we need to start changing like the... Maybe something for wide stance. But to be fair, she's... Miss Lily's... A very large dog so I have high hopes all right let me go ahead and clean up some of the poops here okay pardon me miss Lily it's just getting a little messy in here and I want to make sure that we have a fairly clean room uh, and then pea pod I'm gonna be honest I do not have any kind of hopes of any regards for size on pea pod but maybe we'll be surprised <laughs> pea pod you're adorable you're very tiny. Maybe the tail size and body size and body girth. Oh, body girth. That's what we're looking for. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure that's what we're looking for. Coconuts. So I think we need coconuts for thick body. Well, is girth up or down? Like is girth like, like width or is it height? I think it might be width, maybe? Maybe? And proportionally, I feel like Peapod should really win. Oh, look, <laughs> one of the ghosts is actually playing with uh, the boot and it's levitating. You can see it outlined through the floor. That's funny. All right, so I have a lot of questions now. <laughs> Peapod, you seem to be doing okay. The teen and green bean is doing well. Ooh, capsule! With a slime barrel! I don't know who did that, but good job! Oh, and another capsule! With egg wallpaper! Oh, I am so proud of all of our pups. Some of them have been hoarding pizza in their den as well, which is adorable. All right, we're gonna tidy some of this up. And you know what I think we're way behind on? Is using that den upgrade. I only have one den upgrade, so I have been hoarding it because I wanted it to be super duper special. Uh, Doodle, where are you, by the way? Doodle, come on out. You're gonna starve to death if you don't eat soon. But I have been hoarding the den upgrade, and I think that it is finally time to use the jungle den upgrade. I'm gonna clear away a whole bunch of the holes we've dug in the ground. We have the seeds and the grass just spread everywhere, which I love. All right, there we go. We'll clear some of that away. I'm gonna clean it all up so we can just make it nice. All right, and I'll leave the dirt. The dogs very rarely eat the dirt, but all right, there we go. Okay, I feel like this area is now tidy enough and I think I'm gonna get rid of the, well, the fake tree in the back offers like a little bit of variation in the canopy sizes. Hey, Miss Lily, why don't you go play in the other room, Missy? She's got a ton of the Magnilium and even a Magnilium Plus. If Miss Lilia wants to, oh, Courage is ready to pop it. Okay, there you go, Courage. Oh, he's so cute and small. And meanwhile, Rosebush, I really feel for Rosebush. So Rosebush is an adult. We could probably go ahead and try breeding Rosebush. I don't know if that's a humane option. I'm gonna be honest. Rosebush, let me go ahead. We're gonna back up her genes because she's from a great lineage. Oh my good word. I think she has one of the longest dog codes I have ever seen in my life. So we're gonna breed Rosebush, but let's actually see if we can find a dog with less legs in her line. Bush, eh, there we go because I don't think having this many legs is good for anybody. Like my computer, to Rosebush herself, to potential pups of Rosebush. Courage, you changed color. What were you doing eating that much dirt? Apparently Courage has now changed color to brown because they ate so much dirt. What, come on Courage. That's not what we wanted. Body size is up, snout length is up, ear length is down, leg gloss is going on. Come on. All right, if you don't mind, yeah, if you could just eat the rest of Cotton Ball, because that's gonna vanish sooner than later. 
Good job, Courage. Sorry I have to make you eat, like, legs of your, your parent. It's just the way things are. All right, and I wonder if I can get more color somehow. I'm gonna look into that. Uh, how's Cotton Ball doing? Good job, Cotton Ball! Making us lots of ectoplasm. So I'll probably make Courage eat a bunch of ectoplasm in a little bit, and we'll see how that works out for us. Uh, because the ectoplasm does actually change the color. Or that's not ectoplasm. That's the new thing! Uh, let's see. There's ectoplasm. No, that's actually the Cresselia. What? Ecto ha, ectoplasm's the black one, that's right. So it gives you white legs, random mutations, and black body. <gasps> random mutations, of course! That's probably the way to go. Okay, we'll work really hard with courage and having the ectoplasm and random mutations. I think that will actually be a very good idea. So courage, why don't you go this way? And that might actually get us like the horns. That might get us, there's more than one type of wing, by the way, which I'm really excited about. All right, hopefully ectoplasm lasts a little while. All right, I might I might get courage on like a pure ectoplasm diet if need be. All right, and then let's go ahead. Cottonball's doing such a great job being a good ghost guardian dog. Just eating all of the, the like lunar cakes that we're leaving out as offerings. All right, everybody else is doing good over here. Snacks, I already backed up your DNA, so I know that's good. And really, I'm kind of hoping that we can get green bean crossbred with Miss Lily at some point, but those guys are still young. Hmm. So maybe we'll go ahead and... Oh! It's a dog egg! Okay, I think Rosebush wants to have a pup of her own. I'm tempted to breed Rosebush and Snacks or Doodle. Doodle had some really interesting pups last time, but Snacks has three heads, and I don't want to lose out on the three head thing. So let's do this. All right, Rosebush. Like I said, let's go for less legs. <laughs> less legs. Okay, Snacks has six legs. Rosebush has a hundred. I really hope this doesn't crash everything. <laughs> this might crash everything. Brace yourselves, friends. All right, all right, all right. Hang in there, pups. Hang in there, Rosebush. I'm gonna try really hard. Oh my gosh, I think there's some dogs. What is this long one? What is even going on with you? Look at this. This is the most amazing random dog I've ever seen. Look at all those legs. Okay, that's hilarious. We're gonna go with that one. And then there's only one that has Rosebush's colors, but we're gonna try to just like carry on. All right, I'm gonna grab Rosebush's colors, just on principle. And we've got long dog. I don't know if this is a good idea. This is a painfully, like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you can't even see them. They're just blurs. I think this is a very bad idea. Are we gonna break everything? Oh my word. Okay, hang in there, guys. What, I didn't even know we could do this. All right, less legs. We didn't even keep Rosebush's colors. Hang in there, friends. I think we've made a terrible mistake. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Let's see if, oh my gosh, look at that. Can I get less legs? Please, less legs. All right, think about less legs, guys. Less legs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is cursed. This is absolutely cursed. I don't even know. I think you can abandon this, but I'm gonna try really hard. Hold still, you cursed puppies. Oh my gosh, in the brief moment where they vanish, everything is better. Maybe we'll just have to have a cursed like egg that we like never hatch unless we want sheer chaos. And that will be Rosebush's like final final addition to the family because her legs are just too much. Literally too much. I can't even, I can't even select. Okay, come on. Okay, come on, come on, come on. All right. And what if I want the other dog? Okay, this is amazing. I haven't, I haven't crashed a game so hard in years, I don't think. Okay. Does anybody have less legs? 
Maybe the guy who just landed, but I don't think so. Anybody? Less legs? So one, two, three, four, five, a suit. I think we have 600 dog legs here. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is, this is absolutely cursed. Okay, okay. Maybe I should just select a final dog. Oh, I'm heating them? Okay, okay, come on. I, I kind of am curious to see how far I can shove this though. All right, I wanna select dog B. Okay, and then that brief second of relief. Come on. Okay, what about that green one? Okay, there's so many legs. Can't you guys like have a random mutation now where there's less legs? Rosebush's line lineage is cursed. We absolutely have just a cursed dog line, guys. That's just the way it is. Oh, please don't be a massive litter. I've never begged so hard for something not to be a massive litter. Of oh no! <laughs> An absolutely cursed massive litter. What have I done to deserve this? Oh my gosh, at least some of her legs are like, some of their legs are spreading out now, I think. Okay, hang in there. Grit your teeth and bear it, friends. If you get motion sick, look away. All right, I think I can grab one of them. Hold still you. Okay, got one dog. And then what about that one at the back? Okay, I need, okay, I think we're just gonna have to select like a dog soon. Cause this is, this is just bonkers. All right, come on, come on. And breed, oh, okay. Can I just get one or two? Just one or two, that would be, oh, we're finally starting to get down there you guys. Okay, I think we're actually running into hope. We just had like a massive litter and it made things wonky. Okay, okay. There's a bunch of, there's a bunch of blue. I don't even know what we've done. Oh, please don't be another massive litter. Why does Rosebush have to be like exceptionally prolific? Oh my gosh, I think it's another massive litter. All right, all right, crossbreeding. I'm just gonna grab, we're just gonna grab and run. This one that's blue, maybe? You can't even see them. This is making me dizzy. All right, we're doing it just for like another couple rounds. And if we still have just hundreds and hundreds of legs, we're just gonna take our cursed puppy and run. This is just, this is just wild. I'm staring in horror and awe. Wow. Are we done? No, there was one more. Are you guys done? Oh my gosh, there was another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's 800 plus, oh, are you kidding? Why do we have to have the like always desired a massive litter with this guy? This guy. Oh, the simulation is getting down into like 62% now, but we still have just wild, wild party pups going on. At least they're three headed. I'm gonna be really happy if we could just maybe have a sudden surprise set of wings. That will make everything worth it. We've got a lot of curly tails. So I think the curly tail jeans must be like a little easy to access. Okay, we're on generation 10. I'm gonna push it to, to lucky number 13 because this is the cursed set of litter, litters. And if we can make it to lucky number 13, maybe we'll get something we can actually use. But otherwise guys, I think Rosebud is actually, or Rosebush, pardon me, is off the breeding list. <laughs> Cause this is just too much. This is just way too much. Please don't be another massive litter. All right, two more. Lucky number 13. All right, grab that one. Come on. Come on. Let me select you. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I just yeeted, okay. I need dog B, select dog, this dog. Okay, and then one litter after this, if we can. And then we'll be done. Oh my gosh, just having three of them. 
this is terrifying. All right. Stability going down. Is this it? Do I just grab and run from this pile? I think we just grab and run from this pile. Select final dog. We're, well, actually, how about we see if we can make it go into the negative because we've made it to 10% and usually we can't make it this far. So let's push this to the absolute limit. Okay, come on. Take me down below 10%. Take me into the negatives. Give me a dog that truly, truly nothing could have created. Oh, there we go. All right, we made it. You guys, behold our cursed dog. Bless you, little one. But we're going to go ahead and Rosebush is never having another puppy. Life has shown us that that is just way too too chaotic. We have reached a limit in our exploration of doggy dog genetics. Wow, I'm dizzy now. All right, time to lay down. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this day of very wacky, wild, and chaotic puppers. We are going to be working on potentially having a different food stuff to put down since we want to start working on the wide stance soon. And I think that wide stance, like, let's see, inverted, thick body, short legs. I think thick body... I, I don't know. What does thick body make? Maybe it won't hurt. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get a bunch of coconuts and see if that helps us out with our goal. Whoops. With our goal of being able to have large dogs. So wide, large dogs so we can get our just desserts. But all right. And do please leave a like for poor Rosebush, who I am never going to inflict with children again. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.